High quality and very fine mesh along walls is crucial for accurate solving fluid dynamics equations within the boundary layer. The boundary layer mesh can be created in SimFlow in a few possible ways. For example, if we want to create a boundary layer adjacent to the wall of the catalytic converter, we need to prepare the geometry first. We can simply put the inlet and outlet surfaces into separate groups, so that the catalytic converter boundary will contain only the wall. Next, we should go to the hex meshing panel and enable two buttons for the catalytic converter geometry. The first is the mesh geometry button and the second is the create boundary layer mesh button. If we expand the list of options for this geometry, we will see additional options that allow us to define the mesh parameters. For demonstration purposes, we can decrease the number of layers to three. We should make sure that the boundary layer mesh is only created near the wall. This is defined in the face groups table. By enabling or disabling the create boundary layer on this group button, we can specify whether we want to apply boundary layer mesh to certain surfaces. Of course, we have to type the initial mesh parameters, which we can see here, and move the material point inside the catalytic converter geometry. Next, we can proceed to the mesh tab and click the mesh button. Once meshing is finished, we should use the section view tool to see the internal mesh parts. Let's see how the mesh looks like by cutting it along the x-axis at its middle. As expected, the boundary layer mesh has only been applied to the wall. Another way of creating a boundary layer mesh is to create the mesh first and then modify it by adding the boundary layer. So let's go back to the geometry tab in the hex meshing panel and check the create boundary layer mesh button and create mesh without the boundary layer. If meshing is completed, we can go to the mesh panel and expand the list of options for the catalytic converter boundary in the boundaries tab. Then we should choose the create boundary layer operation. In the panel which appeared on the left hand side, we can define the mesh parameters by specifying total thickness and expansion ratio. We can use 2 as total thickness and if we are content with the remaining settings, we can proceed further by clicking the generate button. The mesh has been generated. So we can again use the section view tool to examine the mesh quality. Another possibility is to refine the mesh along the wall using the refine operation. We can choose it from the list of options available for the specific boundary. It allows us to divide each mesh cell adjacent to the selected boundary into two cells. The edge weight parameter defines at which height of the first mesh cell adjacent to the wall the mesh will be divided. If this number is lower than 0.5, for example, it's equal to 0.4, the mesh cell will be divided into two at 40% of its height, measured perpendicularly from the wall. If we now click the Refine Wall Layer button, the boundary layer mesh will be further refined.